Okay, so let's try this one. Um, so uh, what we're looking at is the reaction of chromic acid with these different um, uh, benzene derivatives and benzene itself. So um, we've got benzene here. And if, if you recall, we react chromic acid with a benzene derivative, right? At the benzylic position, it will um, make the derivative into a carboxylic acid. But you have to have certain properties at that benzylic position, okay? So since benzene itself doesn't have a benzylic carbon, right? It doesn't have a carbon out here attached to the ring. There's not going to be any reaction when you put chromic acid in. So if you look here, we've got a benzylic carbon. In fact, we've got a benzylic carbon there, we've got a benzylic carbon there, and we've got a benzylic carbon there. Um, what you need to get the product that you're expecting, and again, remember, you don't need to know the mechanism of this, which I don't think is really fully understood anyways. Okay, so that's the product you would expect, and that's the product you get, okay? And in fact, the same thing happens here. Okay, so we get that product in both of those places, whether it be um, the benzylic carbon have only the car one carbon uh, and, the out uh, and the phenyl ring coming off, um, or two carbons, so tertiary or secondary, if you will. Right? Um, so if you get to a quaternary benzylic carbon, that will also have no reaction. So hopefully you guys can think of what's going on, right? The, what's happening is, of course, when we're at that secondary benzylic carbon, right? It's got those two H's there, okay? Those are being removed, oxidized, you know? This carbon is being oxidized um, to the carboxylic acid, or benzoic acid in this case. Same thing here, right? We've got these hydrogen that allows the oxidation to occur, okay? Here, we've only got methyl groups, or an ethyl group too, alkyl groups at the quaternary carbon. So since there's no hydrogens, no reaction. Is everybody okay with that? The same thing is true with potassium permanganate too, the per potassium permanganate oxidation, which we'll see in a second. Okay, do you have a question? Does that have more than one carbon path, at least one carbon path the benzoic Oh, do all of these have that, right? Here, yeah. let's see. Let's just do methyl. Okay. So, all that matters is that you have the benzylic carbon and you have a hydrogen. So, do we have a benzylic carbon? Yes. yes. In this case, it's the primary benzylic carbon with the three hydrogens on it. So yes, this will be oxidized as well to the same product. So that's a good question. Okay, any other question? Okay, cool. Makes sense, right, everyone? Oh, one question. Huh? Um, so as long as we have excess of it, then we can do it as many times yeah. as many so, different places. So around. yeah, you can see if you go down to some of the problems, right? Um, let's just say we've got something, I don't know, like this, okay? What's gonna happen? <coughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Makes sense? Everybody cool. Sense. Like the chain was very long, it'll still happen. Doesn't matter how long the chain is. Okay. Well, only thing that matters is if you've got that a hydrogen there. Right? This one, no hydrogen, so it ain't gonna work. This one, no benzylic carbon, so it ain't gonna work. 
So is that? But if that one, that last one, that does have a reaction, if it has just like a methyl aldehyde right there, what's going to be the product? It's not going to react at the top. It's going to react. It's going to have a product though right. this time, right? right. Yeah. teaching in a place with a bunch of tall people so they all have the boards a little higher. Okay. Is that everybody's questions now? That makes sense. Okay, cool. Very good, guys.